Welcome everybody to the episode that will crown a champion here in the Kane League for the very first time. It's game three of the league championship featuring Anton Greenberry and our Toucans against Harold Smiley and the Phantoms. These are the top two teams from this season and we have each won one game in this series. Today is going to be the finale as the first champion is crowned. Let's begin. Remember that last episode, Perry Cummings suffered a shoulder injury. He's not going to be playing here in the finale. In his place, we'll be calling on Kevin Martindale. And here we go. We have three players with arrows pointing down. They have Jackson Taylor going down, but Oliver Ordonez way up, even though he's a little fatigued. So uh, this is it, everybody. This is the last episode of year one, and it starts with a fly ball deep to center field caught by Desmond Payne. Following this episode, there is going to be something for the draft. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but I'm obviously going to figure it out. And then we're gonna play a new season off of Martindale at second base. That's a base hit for Jackson Taylor. Tyrone Brightful now, who had a chance to end the series last episode. He could have gone yard to win it, instead he struck out looking. Now he grounds it sharply to Starks, and he's going 6-4-3, see you later. The leadoff hitter today is Ja'Cory Day. It's just been a different postseason for the offense. We have all our power hitters kind of struggling to an extent, while the contact hitters have been doing better. Day and Cummings were two of our best playoff performers, but Cummings' injury means that he can't lead off. So it's Ja'Cory Day's turn for the very first time, and he strikes out to start. Harold Smiley's game is all about great velocity. Oh my, that's got a chance! Starks out the deep center field! That ball is out of here! There's the first run! That is your batting champion from this year, Jordan Starks going out. It's his second homer of the postseason. Now Marcus Calhoun's turn with the lead intact. Now scoring has been an issue for us in these playoffs. We have not scored over two runs in the four games we've played. Here is Calhoun out to right. That ball sliding catch by Jackson Taylor. Michael Riley up now. He's also tense after a good regular season. Ball two here from Smiley. And a sharp ground ball hit to Jennings, out number three. So the lead is given to Anton Greenberry, but now Oliver Ordonez. He's on fire. And he had a really good game one against us. Ordonez pops foul. High heat from Greenberry lifted into the foul territory. And we're gonna come close, but can't take it away. I gotta get him to chase one of these. Good eye by Ordonez. And he smashes one to right center field. Tie game at one. I did my best to avoid that, but the two best home run hitters here for each team have gone yard. Well, there is Brightful, but Ardonez has been great in the postseason. That's a little different. Ardonez, uh, like average in this series too, has to be quite incredible. He's gotten a hit in every game now. And I think it was four in the first game. He's probably like six for nine or something of that nature. Just ridiculous. And look how much easier everybody else is. Three easy outs after the home run. It's like I knew it was coming as well. I was so careful. Dante Rooks. There we go on the ground. Out number one. Kelly John Charles does move up in the order a little bit. We had to bring in Martindale, and I sent Desmond Payne down in the order. KJC with a blooper to shallow left, out number two. And then Desmond Payne, who has not enjoyed offense this year. 
Not much, anyway. That ball in the air, high to left field. That is caught by Kanoa. And on to the third inning we go. Vince Jennings, the batter, in the eighth spot. There's a tapper. Fair ball. Really just one challenging swing so far, but it scored a run. Otherwise, Greenberry has shut this offense down. Harold Smiley, the pitcher. Once I realized it was the pitcher, we're going right down the middle. What's he going to do with it? One and two. Slow roller to Calhoun. Two away. And Kailoa Kanoa. Back to the top of their order, and they can do some damage here, but Kanoa grounds it softly. I appreciate that. Bottom three. Here's Kevin Martindale. Martindale gives this a ride out to center. Well, that's caught. And then Anton Greenberry. Trying to win a Super Bowl again on my Browns rebuild and trying to win a league championship here today. Three and two now from Harold Smiley. Right down Broadway and grounded to Saunders for the second out. Top of the order again, Ja'Cory Day. We're going up the middle now and that is within the reach of Dion Gold. Each team has really had just like one good swing and they were both solo jacks. Here's Jackson Taylor now with a base hit to left. Taylor now with two hits on the day. Rightful's turn, he grounded into a double play the first time and now thought about bunting. Must have uh, blown his confidence entirely if that's what he wants to do. You're a three hitter, you don't bunt. He strikes out looking. He's definitely shook after last episode and that strikeout to close it out. Ordonez, base hit, way better than a home run. I gotta start giving him the Barry Bonds treatment, I think. Even if the bases are loaded, we just walk him. Kai Saunders probably can't get two. Now two down and two in scoring position for Robbie Reed. With an open base, we'll play it safe. And we got two quick strikes on pitches out of the zone, so pretty happy about that. Let's go here below the knees. And another swing in foul territory. Riley gloves it and we're through three and a half. Now it's Jordan Starks. Maybe a tiebreaker right here. Taking some out of the zone. Oh, couldn't do it that time. Two and two to Jordan Starks. There we go. A rocket to right. Base hit. The leadoff man is aboard. Let's hope we're not finished now. Marcus Calhoun's turn. Ooh, right down the middle. Oh, and two already. And a lifted fly ball to right. Want to make these defenders work a little harder than they are. Here's Michael Riley, who's tense. Trying to work away here against Riley. And now two strikes. Oh, we're too late. You see, everything here has like some slight movement, so I'm trying to read it, and by the time I can, it's too late. Dante Rooks. Oh, it's down the line of fair ball. Rooks to first, but he can't beat the throw. One to one, top of the fifth. Anton Greenberry ahead in the count. There's a soft tapper for Calhoun, and the throw is in time. Jennings now. Missed our spot there, but strike two. Let's attack inside now with the changeup. Two and two. 
Taking everything close and getting away with it. Now he swings and fouls one off. Good at bat for Jennings, who grounds it to Riley. Two away. What's the pitch count now? 42 for Greenberry, so it's still pretty good. Harold Smiley. Pitcher versus pitcher. Two swinging strikes. And a foul. Come on, miss one more time, Smiley. A tapper to Calhoun. Got that one out number three. Six, seven, eight, do up for the Toucans. And it's been just a terrible postseason for Kelly John Charles, who has only one hit. I believe it was a pitch right down the middle and a hit right back up the middle. They're taking everything so far. Nothing good. Three and one now from Smiley. I like that one, but it goes right to Saunders for another out. Desmond Payne up again. Oh, popped it up, chasing one wildly. Kevin Martindale, is he here to break us out of this slump? Don't think so. Grounded to Saunders, out number three. One through three due up now, and Kanoa gulfs one into the seats. Thankfully not the outfield seats. One and one. There's another tapper. That's the second time in a row he's grounded out to Greenberry. We're getting so lucky, I feel, with him. Jackson Taylor has two hits. And now two strikes. Let's end that streak. Why do they have such good eyes at the plate? Good curveball, and it smashed a ton to left field. To the wall it goes. Caught by Ja'Cory Day. I'm about to say there, if I get an 84 quality curve, I better not see you take that yard on the first, like, try. Three down. Greenberry through six, only allowing four hits and one solo homer. Now he'll hit. Trying to help his own cause. Oh, too late. The velocity is still a lot to handle as Greenberry with a towering fly ball down the line. That is caught by Kanoa. Ja'Cory Day's turn. And a grounder again that won't get through the infield. We just can't avoid the middle infielders. Jordan Starks is two for two. Oh man, bad, bad, bad. That was terrible. That one's better. High and hard towards center field. Back to the track and caught. Why we picked this stadium. That might be a homer elsewhere. Top seven now, it's Ordonez, he's jacked. He's got the Max Mojo boost. Ordonez, one and one. I think I, oh, okay. Jam to shallow left, got it. Otherwise, I was okay just walking him. I didn't want to give him anything in the zone. Kai Saunders now pops up. We've had like two or three competitive swings in this game. Maybe a little bit more than that, but the offense just can't get going. Robbie Reed with a nice foul. Inside now with a fastball and back to the screen. Come on, Greenberry. Strike him out. Change up. Belted toward deep center field. Payne retreats and makes the catch. Three through five do up. Can we get the tie broken? Come on, Marcus Calhoun. Oh, no. It was right down the middle. That one, too. We missed it twice in a row. Man, that was a horrible at-bat. Calhoun strikes out. Riley's turn. And this ball hit into left. That's caught, too. Dante Rooks. It feels like it's been a while since he got anything to go his way at the plate. But now's a great time to turn it around. Goes up for it, and that is another ground out. We're through seven. 
Still just the two solo homers. Dion Gold over the dugout. Greenberry, the pitch count is not an issue. He can still pitch a while. Vince Jennings. High into foul territory. Calhoun. Got that one. His fielding is actually really low right now. I need to be careful with that. Harold Smiley. Although he hasn't made a mistake yet. There's a tapper and another fair ball. I like how Greenberry is getting just some forgetful outs here. Bottom eight. Harold Smiley still in the game. Going strong. Pitch count has to be similar for these two pitchers, I think. 0-2 oh, to KJC. Another soft tapper. Desmond Payne up with one away. And another fly ball from Payne. I just can't get a good liner with him. Two down, and it's Kevin Martindale. And with a power swing, he does hit it into center field. But we're through eight. No difference in score in a long time. We scored in the first. They scored in the second. Now it's the ninth inning, and they got the heart of their order. But Kanoa can't do anything against our pitchers. Jackson Taylor's turn. He's done well. And now grounds it for Starks. Barehanded and out number two. Tyrone Brightful now. 0 for on the day. Greenberry misses. Brightful swings and comes up empty. One and one. Strike two. Let's go power pitch against Brightful. Another one. Fastball gets him swinging and we're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. We have a chance to walk it off and win the championship. Look at Anton Greenberry's ratings as Julio Mariano is going to pitch. They finally go to their bullpen. Greenberry's ratings now are very respectable. And he has a fly ball drilled toward right center. We're still going. Ja'Cory Day 0 for 3. Day lines to third. Jordan Starks. Here's our chance to end this season once and for all. Jordan Starks against Julio Mariano. One of the best hitters against maybe the best closer in the league. Oh, we got some juice behind that foul. One and two. And this ball line to third base. We have extra innings here in the final game of the championship series. Greenberry is looking to pitch a 10th inning. And leading off. Our biggest problem at the plate, Oliver Ordonez. Trying to get him to chase one of these. Oh, good eye. Curveball grounded softly to Starks. Greenberry now has pitched 28 outs. Come on, Anton Greenberry. Rounder to Calhoun. Two away. We're trying to crown a champion. Robbie Reed over the head of Starks and into the gap that'll reach the wall. With a two out double, that's the first scoring threat in a very long time. That's one of the first runners in scoring position all day. Maybe the only one, I can't remember. Dion Gold trying to bring him home. You know what? I think we have to maybe take Greenberry out. His ratings did go down after that. Tim Gallagher. I know we already are two pitches into this at bat. Gallagher. Oh, no. That's high and hard toward deep right center. Got it. No. No. Trap catch. No. The Phantoms take the lead. Two to one. Everything on the line. Now a high towering fly ball down the line and left. Got it. When I was off by a step on that last one. And now we've got to get a run against Julio Mariano. 
Two to one Phantoms. Everything is on the line right now. Calhoun pops it up. That's not reaching the dugout. Out number one. This is the whole season right here. Michael Riley, he's been so clutch this season. Riley strike two, Mariano gets ahead. And now a grounder to Saunders. Two away. Dante Rooks, hitless in the postseason. We need him to come through right now. Mariano trying to end the year. Here's Rooks down the line. Fair ball. It's not over. Dante Rooks with his first playoff hit with two outs. Bottom of the 10th inning. We have a chance. We've got to get someone to run for him. Perry Cummings. Oh, he's hurt. His shoulder is impacting his speed. David McClelland is going to pinch run for Dante Rooks. Oh, wait. I just made him pinch hit. Whoops. I can still get some more speed out there, right? Oh, I screwed that up so bad. Rooks has the best speed. A base hit needs to get it done. Here's David McClellan. High in the air to foul territory. Almost hit him. One and one. Almost hit him again. What's going on? Three and one to David McClellan. And a grounder hit to short. McClelland is out and the series is over. Man. The Toucans lose to the Phantoms who are the first champions ever here in the Kane League. I know I chased ball four right there. I always go after those high pitches. They're easier to read. And uh, somehow we always manage to get on top of them. The Phantoms win. I choked it away. Well, really choked to lose it. The Phantoms are your champions. We did not do well on offense at all in this postseason. We could not score. We'll see if we can do it again next year, but I plan on having some sort of draft or something for getting new players onto different teams. Here are the numbers for our team this year. Ja'Cory Day, 267. Perry Cummings in the playoffs, though, hit 417. We definitely missed him here in the last game. We have our playoff stats and our regular season stats. You can see just how different it was. Perry Cummings, 5 for 35 in the regular season, and then 5 for 12 in the playoffs. Our pitching was pretty phenomenal all season long, even into the postseason. We just couldn't get the run support, and the Phantoms win it all. So thank you all for watching this first season here of Super Mega Baseball 2. I hope you enjoyed what has been going on here. I like that I created my own league here, and it was a fun first season. Unfortunately, we do not win a title yet. We'll try it again soon. And we'll see if the two canes can come back stronger next year. I will be having some sort of a draft though before season two gets underway. So look forward to that and I'll see you again soon. Thank you all for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave your feedback down below in the comment section and I will see you all again shortly. Have a great day.